what a night indeed. And you know what? It's not an unrealistic suggestion, not when you take into consideration what she did earlier in the pool today. Becky Adlington, you have two Olympic medals in this event. How excited were you? She was so excited. It was absolutely brilliant to see. We know you, Toxeter, are going to be up with us into the early hours. Swindon are going to be with us as well. Jason, he could win our first gold medal. It's fair to say we're all pretty, pretty excited. It's been a long time since we had a male Olympic champion. That man <laughs> is with me now I'm in the pool. Adrian Morehouse, back in 1988, yep. you won. We are, but not before we get through all of the other swimming programme, and there's plenty to talk about tonight. We've just missed the first semi final of the women's 100 metre breaststroke, featuring Yulia Efimova, Chloe Tutton, and Rita Melatito. So let's have a look at it. Well, let's hear from Great Britain's Chloe Tutton. She's with Sharon now. Well, that was the women's 100 metre breaststroke, but for us tonight, it's all about the men's 100 metre breaststroke and a young man who is on the verge of becoming a national hero. Well, I've got three members of Team PT with me now. Mark. Dad, Mark, what about you? How are your nerves holding out? All right. He's been building up to all those years. You were driving him to train in early doors. But I understand that it's a real team effort and your family, friends and neighbours have been involved as well, haven't they? Yes, they have. They've been... Right. I'm going to pause you there, let you soak up the atmosphere because it's time for a medal ceremony and you never know, your little boy, your boyfriend, your son could be on that podium in just a few minutes. Andy, Adrian. Guy, Carl Jenner, we caught up with him at the European, so we can jump on those coattails a little bit, can't we? We I mean, never know, we could see two British swimmers on that podium tonight. Jazz Carlin's final coming up, but so is Adam Peters. The one we've been waiting for, the moment we are sure he's going to be crowned Olympic champion. The past two years, and rightly so, as he's just gone from strength to strength. I don't think he's lost a race in the past two years either. Um, and to just do that at the top of your game and come into your very first Olympics and have even, he can just be proud, even if he doesn't get that gold medal, he can be so proud of how he's done yesterday from the heats and then semi-finals and getting that world record. Some of the people that have seen a case of Bruno, the cobwebs. Absolutely unbelievable. Incredible silver medal for Jazz Carlin. Brilliant, brilliant scenes in the pool tonight because we've already had one gold medal. Congratulations, Team PT. This is only one part of Team PT. Have your legs stopped shaking yet? Just about. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect the tears are going to start flowing again in a minute because yeah. we're getting ready for the medal ceremony. Guys, hang here. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the moment. Savour every second of it, and Thank so you, you should. And Nana Mavis, if you're all right, can you let us know? Because they're a little bit worried <laughs> that you've got overexcited. They'll be dancing in the streets of Redden tonight. Right, enjoy, guys. OK, let's have a chat about Jazz Carlin. Oh, guys, they've been crying for Adam, crying for Jazz. Uh, no, I, I asked Becky to marry me, and she's... <laughs> <laughs> right, Jazz Carlin, how impressive was that? She's waited so long to be at a Games and to get that medal, she can't believe it. What a total privilege to be in this swimming pool this evening. Phenomenal few minutes for British swimming. An Olympic champion, an Olympic silver medalist. We're going to get to their medal ceremony shortly, but before we do that, Jason, you've got news from elsewhere. Yeah.